Hey there, welcome to another episode of Social Business Engine. I'm your host, Bernie Borges. And on this episode, you're gonna get buzzed, well, sort of. Humana, a 50,000 plus person insurance company, has an enterprise social network that's called Buzz. You're gonna learn how Humana implemented this ESN to change their culture of collaboration. My co-host and sponsor for this episode is Badi Assad from Socialcast, which is the underlying technology for Buzz at Humana, with Jeff Ross, Community Manager at Humana. Jeff, welcome to the Social Business Engine. Let's begin with an explanation of your role as Community Manager at Humana. Thank you, Bernie. It's been my pleasure to be the Community Manager since we launched Buzz in May of 2010. I'm a part of the Enterprise Social Media Team with Humana. And in my capacity, I am chief advocate and moderator and enforcer and trainer and supporter and wear a lot of different hats that community managers typically wear uh, for online communities. Hey, Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about the background on Buzz and how it was implemented at Humana? Why did you guys pick uh, to do an enterprise social network and how did it go? Well, back in 2008 really was the beginning of this discussion. And we had an internal group called the Humana Chamber of Commerce, and it was their practice to kind of look at the outside the trends in society, technology, healthcare, culture, and see if there were things going on that perhaps might be of value inside our organization. And so at that point, the growth of social media was certainly uh, something on the radar. So the decision was made to test the waters there internally and see if a tool uh, could be of use and help for us and more effectively and efficiently collaborating and communicating with others. It didn't take very long for that answer to be uh, a, a very solid yes. And so then we embarked in a more um, a serious look at the platforms that were available in 2009, chose social cast, and then officially launched it in May of 2010. So, so once you picked your, your platform there, who exactly were the internal champions and how did you set that up internally for that platform to be useful and successful within Humana? We had a good cross-section of interested parties from the beginning. The driving force uh, officially was an Enterprise Innovation Team within our IT area, but then we had strong support from an Innovation Center on the business side of the house and others within HR. And once it was stood up, from the very beginning, we had just strong uh, early adopters who were enthusiastic about it. They used social media on their own outside the company, so they were a natural fit to take to it inside the company as well. And so it grew virally, really, from the bottom up from the very beginning. Jeff, explain, how does the average employee at Humana use Buzz? Well, we love the creativity with which people find new ways that we would never have imagined when we started this several years ago. Uh, there are some things that commonly happen every day. It's used to, as a place to uh, post questions where you're just perhaps not quite sure where else to post those. Leaders use it regularly to uh, host town halls and to capture the Q&A and the narrative of what's discussed in those meetings. It's embedded deeply into our intranet and into a couple of hundred SharePoint sites so that conversations happen where people are doing their work every day and they can engage with them there as well as the main web tool. And because we encourage it for non-business as well as business use, we encourage people to take part in groups that are established around areas of mutual interest. And so we have both the business and the non-business aspect of those conversations. We love the fact that being a healthcare company, the dominant topic on Buzz uh, is really health and wellness. We have a lot of activity, discussion, fitness challenges, encouragement that happens as people pursue their, their wellness and well-being goals. Jeff, we have to talk about business results. Can you summarize what are the business results that Humana has experienced with Buzz? Well, we say we have Buzz for two purposes. One is to help us accomplish our business objectives, of course. There would be no reason to have it otherwise in a company. But in addition to that, the other main purpose is to help us establish those 
a positive relationships around areas of mutual interest. So we leave it up to individual groups as to how those business objectives are accomplished. Perhaps it's just getting away from an email culture of endless reply all uh, discussion chains and putting it in a place where people can uh, find it and new employees can benefit from those. Perhaps it's a way to uh, engage new associates in onboarding uh, quicker so that they become more accustomed to the, the culture and the processes. We use it a lot for uh, ideation as well. And so there are a lot of ideas for improving processes or products or increasing efficiencies that happen. I, I love what our president and CEO, Bruce Broussard, said uh, about a year ago when asked a question about uh, the benefit of it. You know, he said, we may not always know the exact dollars that are involved in terms of return, but he knows that having 50,000 people on the same page moving in the same direction is pretty important to him. And we think that Buzz gives us that culture, that climate, that transparency and way of communicating that helps us all, uh, even though we're very geographically dispersed, uh, be moving in the same direction together. Well, Jeff, thank you for sharing that. And speaking of results, uh, I want to point out this awesome white paper that's available for download from Socialcast. It is called A People-Centric Approach to Measuring the ROI of an Enterprise Social Network. This white paper, I've read it from cover to cover, and it answers the question, how do you get return on investment from an enterprise social network? I want to read an excerpt from it. The measurement of value varies from company to company, but the experience of undeniable value creation weaves its way through every successfully deployed organization that has focused on fostering and promoting an enterprise social network. The white paper goes on to give numerous examples of organizations around the world, including Humana, that are successfully using an enterprise social network. So to download this white paper, just go to socialbusinessengine.com forward slash socialcast, where you can download it. And also, if you want some information on socialcast, you can let us know there as well. Jeff, so can you tell us a little bit about how Buzz is implemented? Is it a destination that your employees need to go to, or is it integrated throughout their daily experience? One of the primary goals we've had that is a continuing goal is deeply integrating Buzz into the experience, both in terms of tools we use within the enterprise and, of course, within the workflow. If it's always just a different destination, then people are less likely to go there. So it's deeply embedded into our intranet landing page where every article posted there has uh, links that let you in- get involved in the conversation. We have it embedded in over 200 SharePoint sites and other internal applications that are used uh, throughout the enterprise. So that is definitely an ongoing uh, goal that we seek to, to improve year by year. Jeff, you're telling us a little bit about how Bruce Brizard, the president and CEO of Humana, uses uh, Buzz. Can you tell? Can you share some of those stories with us a little bit in terms of his engagement and and how he really promotes the use of Buzz across the the company? Well, Bruce has been actively a supporter, not just philosophically, but by his participation from the time he joined us. And uh, he does it in several ways. One, just as an active, avid person who is pursuing his own fitness goals. He runs triathlons and rides a bike and runs, and so he'll he'll post in those discussions and have photos and whatnot. And the people just eat that up because it, it makes him a real life person and not just the CEO. But on an ongoing basis, he has, for example, a monthly leader call with those at the vice president and above level. And Buzz is the platform that is used for capturing the Q&A in those monthly calls and for capturing the narrative of what's being discussed. Every quarter after our quarterly earnings call, he has a meeting with the nearly 6,000 leaders, managers within the organization. And again, Buzz is used as the platform for Q&A and capturing uh, that conversation, not just for the leaders present in that meeting, but it's opened up publicly for everyone in the enterprise to, to see that conversation and those questions and answers afterward. So his participation has had a dramatic effect in encouraging other leaders who may have been a little hesitant in the early days to, to use this with their organizations as well. Jeff, do you have any advice for someone who's watching this right now, hearing your story, and 
maybe they've thought about an enterprise social network before, but they haven't taken uh, any action. Any advice for that person right now? Well, in you know the early days when we were starting, it was a question mark as to whether or not there was value. In 2014, Humana really considers this an expected form of communication. So I think it's safe to go ahead and commit to it and to research those case studies and those use cases that are readily available and learn from the experiences of others. There are a lot of companies that have done some good things uh, with enterprise social networks. And I think that you know a, a younger generation expects this form of communication. And the, the longer we use it, we find that, that all generations are using it effectively. Jeff, thank you so much for being on the Social Business Engine with us here today. And Body, thank you for co-hosting and sponsoring this episode. Uh, this story of Buzz Enterprise Social Network at Humana is admirable. Clearly the business results are uh, obvious and outstanding. So thank you so much for your contribution to this episode here today. Great, Bernie. Thank you for having me today. Thank you for having me. Humana's Buzz Enterprise Social Network is a terrific example of a modern business in action. Hey, don't forget to download the white paper from Socialcast, a people-centric approach to measuring the ROI of an enterprise social network. You're gonna learn how an ESN delivers measurable value to an organization. That's a wrap for this episode. Be sure to tune in to our podcasts and stay tuned for more episodes here on the Social Business Engine. This is Bernie Borges wishing you continued success on your social business journey.